Hello to all the children at St. Teresa's, parents and carers too. Hopefully you'll recognise behind me is our famous bank. On Monday we'll be welcoming some of you back into school, so I thought I would do a quick video with the help of my selfie stick to show you some of the things that we will be putting in place to make things nice and safe for you all. I'll be at the top of the bank on Monday morning welcoming you along with this lovely smiley face behind me. I'm going to walk you through some of the steps that we have put in place as you come into school. Parents and children will be able to come to this point and I will be here. Year six children can walk down the bank themselves I'm sure and we'll be asking you to walk down the bank on the right hand side. As you'll see behind me I'm going to walk it like this to start with. Clearly I haven't practiced it. And behind me you'll see there are markers just to show what two meters looks like. And I'm going to flip this round and I'll walk us down. And you'll be expected to walk down the bank very sensibly on the right hand side in order to give other people that are coming up the bank that famous two meters. As you walk down, you'll be walking down very sensibly, I'm sure. And there will be members of staff on the bank to direct you into the yard. I'm sure you already know where the yard is. This is just to make sure that you are ensuring the two meter distance between you and your friend. As we walk down the bank, you'll see the two meter signs behind me, which have been spray painted on, semi-permanent, so eventually they will disappear once we get back to some sort of normality, hopefully. Each group of children will be given a designated time. So you will be expected to arrive at a certain time. And that's really important. It will be a 10 minute slot just to ensure that we haven't got groups of children arriving at the same time. So you'll be given a 10 minute slot and we would like your parents to ensure that you stick to those slots. As you come down, you can see that the two metre signs are still on the bank and on the ramp as we go into school. As children come in for the day, they'll be expected to use the hand sanitizers outside each classroom, which are here, and then rub the hands to ensure that they're nice and clean. Year six children will be in two separate bubbles. One will be in the year six classroom, which lots of you will be familiar with, and the other bubble will be in year five, again a classroom that you've been in both with teachers that you have had in the past couple of years. And within those bubbles, as you can see behind me, we have measured out your desk spaces. So you'll be two meters apart at all times. And within those spaces, you will have a drawer full of your own resources, everything that you'll need for the day. And you'll be able to access things as and when you need it by putting your hand up. Here's the year five classroom, which will be the second of the year six bubbles. As you can see, there's a little less furniture than the last time you were in here, but needs must. Again, all children will have their own resources in a drawer. So you'll have your own pencils, pens, etc., to be able to do your work during that day. There's also a pedal bin. So if you need to use tissue, you put it in the pedal bin, nice and simple. Just use that with your foot and pop the tissue inside. Children of key workers will be based in our year four classroom, again, with the desk spaced out two meters apart. And all resources and drawers will be on tables and ready for the children on Monday. As you can see from our corridors, we've also got some nice bright pink tape to show children what two metres looks like as they walk through the corridors. When children access the toilets during the day, they'll be expected again to use the hand sanitizers before entering the toilet. When they enter the toilet, they'll be able to go to the toilet, wash their hands and then come back out and use the hand sanitizer once more. 
Again, we have the markings on the floor, so that all children are spaced two metres apart as they line up. And there'll be regular opportunities for the children to use the toilet throughout the day. All children will be remaining in their bubbles, in their classrooms, if you like, uh, throughout the day, other than play times, uh, lunch times, and afternoon play times. We'll also be accessing the outdoor areas around the school, so uh, forest school will be used, uh, the yard areas will be used throughout the day for different educational purposes. As you can see, the hall is also set up for children as well as an overflow bubble. At the moment, we have our key workers in here at the moment. Uh, as of Monday, like I say, the key worker children will be going back into a classroom. We're asking parents in the first instance to email into school or to ring in if you need to speak to a member of staff. If you really do need to speak to somebody face to face, then that will be by appointment only. And again, we'll be asking you to adhere to our rules that we've got in place, the one-way system. And also, as you can see, as you walk in, we have hand sanitizer that we'd ask all visitors to use on entry into school. And again, within the school area, you can see behind me that we have our nice bright pink tape to mark off all the areas uh, to ensure that everyone can see what two meters looks like. If you do need to bring your child down into school, we ask that only one parent comes with their child at any one time and that you come into the yard and that you hand your child across observing the social distancing measures that we have in place. We will then ask you to walk up the stairs to the reception and year one door and back out through the school in our one-way system which leads you out past the school office. Hopefully the video has given you some idea of what it's going to be like when you come back in. No doubt there'll be some small changes, but we're all on hand to help you along the way and to ensure that you are happy, safe and enjoying your time at St. Teresa's. As I always say, we look to shine in little ways and I've got no doubts that when you come back in, you will all impress us with your behaviour and your attitude to learning. Thank you.